Jeff Roper starts us off with the weather. Yeah, everybody talking about how they woke up, stayed up, watched the Northern Lights. What did y'all see? Me? Back of my eyelids. I got pictures <laughs> for you coming up here. We, You know, we're starting the morning with snow. Here we go again. Oh, geez. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're doing it again. Winds are going to be the big story in the lower valley, and then we got snow showers there along the state line into, uh, well, Caribou County and on up into Teton County, Wyoming, uh, and over toward uh, Star Valley. So we've got winter weather advisories have already kicked in this morning. Look at the big radar picture here. I'll let you see what we're talking about. So you go from uh, portions east of Rexburg down into the Star Valley, and then we get back into uh, the 84 stretch and into the desert and winter weather advisories are in purple wind advisories are kicking today and we've already got some showers there into Sun Valley so with a spritz here and there or that of that uh, we've got an area of low pressure that's going to be on top of us right now we're in the 30s and 40s so it's a bit more mild and it, that means we've warmed up and we're going to storm up so today's highs will be in the 50s. We got a wind chill this morning of 18 in Jackson, 13 in Pinedale. It feels like it's about 28 into Arco, and there's going to be a, an extended low that uh, lands on top of us. It's pushing in, and then we're going to clear things out after that. That's the good news. The other part of the country is freezing this morning. We've got frost advisories out that way. So there's the wind advisory. It does edge into the lip of the desert, winter weather advisories on into the central mountains, and yet just above Island Park, we've got a winter storm. <laughs> Warning, we're not done with this yet, people. I mean, it could snow all year. I mean, let's face it, 37 by 7 a.m. We got winds today. There may be some thunder, snow, and thunder showers. It's going to be in the mid-50s. Here's what's happening.